Welcome to Nicole Adele. This is the Tiki Turnstile DIY kit that I've created. And I have with me here, Harrison, my son, who's gonna help narrate how to do this tutorial. So this little Tiki hut uh, comes with everything that you see here. It even has a little turnstile. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna show you all the things you need. First, you need the kit, some acrylic paint, um, my tight bond, quick and thick glue, scissors, and this fun raffia ribbon. I'll link it to where you can get it. Uh, that first little piece we just put to the side was the sign that was a free gift and just put that to the side at the, and we'll do that at the end. But here are all the pieces that I'm just laying out. Um, and again, this part here, put it to the side. That's the little poster. But we're just gonna lay everything out and then paint the things that need to get painted. I'm using a burnt sienna color. Mm. Mm, burnt sienna. Natural. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna lay out all the little pieces that need the burnt sienna, except those top two V shapes. We're not gonna paint those. We're gonna leave them natural. But just simple one coat of that burnt sienna on all those pieces plus the tip of these. And then we will glue on the decorative piece. This kit's nice because it doesn't require a lot of painting. Yeah, that's what I like about it. It's a real simple, quick and easy um, project to do. And I love this glue. Please use this glue, not any other glue, because this is like an industrial glue. And it really does keep things stuck together. On that back side, um, I use just a buff color acrylic paint, like a beige, uh, just because I didn't want to see some of those burnt edges. So see the two smaller rectangles? That's the interior walls. Just put a bead of that tight bond, quick and thick glue on the edges, and it will set up in seconds. Like. The speed is not that fast. Um, so you can see that is like almost real time. Uh, I didn't wait like minutes or anything. That was just seconds. And then I always wipe the excess glue with a paintbrush. It dries real fast. Yeah, it dries real fast. And then you can see it stands up. So I'm dry fitting. And then I tried that trick with the snap and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I have to actually do a process. So... I just took the larger rectangles and the little squares that I painted, and that becomes the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. Put those large rectangles on first, and then butt up the squares. Oops, that piece fell off. Let's just re-glue that. Yep, hold it down. Mm -hmm. Hold it down for a second. This is as long as it is, see? Boom! And Magic. it's dry. Yeah, that one was real time, just like that. And then boom, because that tight bond, quick and thick. Sometimes you like it quick and sometimes you like it thick. Um, <laughs> are those the counters? Yeah, those are the counters. Those little decorative pieces are just decorative. They are not structural. So, I feel like everything going forward is decorative. Well, pretty much, yeah. So you don't have to add those if you don't want to. This is the part that's going to hold the roof, the side roofs, the siding roofs. So there's a short side and a long side. It doesn't matter just as long as you're consistent. And I glued the short sides a little lower than the top so that that would fit in just like that. So you dry fit it before you add your glue. And those long rectangles will then become the side roofs. See that? Cute. Uh-huh. Pretty simple. Then we just turn that around, do the same thing on the other side. So dry fit it, make sure it fits. Add your glue, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, and then add on that roof. So here's the base plate. I put my logo side down and then figure out where you want to do put it, where you want to place it. Add your glue and just like that. All right, now the fun part comes, adding the tassel. I the love raffia tassel. tassel. <laughs> Rassle tassel. So I'm going to put in the description where I got this. I used 
a yard for this, less than a yard. So you just wrap it around and add a little bit of glue each time. I did twice around. Um, I thought it just needed a little extra floof. So just add some more glue on top of the first round and then just go around again. And you can add as much as you want. It can be real floofy if you want. If I want a hundred. You can, if you can fit it, do it. And so then I just tuck that and wipe away the excess. So I measure the roof now um, and it's five pieces that go from the bottom to the top. Those brown parts are for um, an accessory that will come later on that will sit Ooh. there. I know on the sides, yeah. Teaser. A teaser, that's right. Um, it'll be a handmade item that is um, optional if you want a decorative piece or you can make something of your own. So um, you just layer it up. And it was five pieces. And you do that from bottom to top? Yeah, bottom to top. And then you add this decorative little piece, this lattice piece, just bloop, right mm, there. Lattice. <laughs> You want some lattice and tomatoes. And then you're going to put that piece on. There's a there's a top side and a bottom side. Uh, not top side, bottom side. The turnstile didn't need glue on the turny bits, only on the base. And this is the poster. So there's that interior piece that will make sure that there's a space for your poster. Just wipe away the excess. And then we're going to make the sign. And this is the sign pieces. So you just snip to size the chalkboard innards. Make sure they fit. If they don't, you can trim off a little extra. And then you're just going to glue it to the back. Add a little bit of glue. Stick it down. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, this one's real simple. Yeah, this one's an easy one. Make sure you get a, get away all that excess glue. And just remember not to glue the turnstile spinny part because then it won't spinny. Right, right. So it's just the base of the turnstile that gets glued down, and then the spinny part just rests on top. Yeah, thank you for that. And then if you add that little poster, it's a two-by-two two poster. That actually was done by uh, Amuse Bouche, our good friend Amuse Bouche. So I'll link that as well. But here it is. Here's the finished result. You will get that tiny little doll piece. Mm, gift with purchase. Gift with purchase. See that tiny little doll piece? You can put it on the counter or you can put it on the sign. <laughs> or you can add it to a little doll. But that's pretty much it. How do you like the whole adventure land? It's pretty. Yeah, it looks good all together. It's my favorite one so far. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. So it's not complete. There will be more added to it, but I like it so far. So if you like this, you'll like the kit. Check out my store, NicoleAdell.com. Again, that's with a K, Nicole, and Adele with two L's, NicoleAdell.com. You can pick up this kit or others, and, and that would be great. And then we also were talking about the little two-by-two two poster print that is available by Melissa Chan Stone. That's at Amuse Boosh. You can find her on Instagram, and she has her store link on her Instagram. I also want to say thank you to Harrison. That's Abom me. Yeah, Abomination Creations for doing this with me. We have a lot more to do <laughs> that are coming up. And so you can check out his work, Abomination Creations. And most of all, I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching and helping to support my small business. Because by doing this, you help me to create more. Let's create a miniature Disneyland together. Thanks. Bye. Bye.